without the letter A. You can't say. Ah, hello, everybody. Welcome back. Another episode of of uh, the Rad Mini ride along. Yes, I'm still riding the Rad Mini. Wow. It is uh, very hot, very humid. The humidity makes it really hot. I'm already, I'm already sweating just uh, just being outside. That's just the way it is. It's been raining. It's been raining for like two months. Not two months. Like two, two and a half weeks straight. We've had a lot of rain, so I'm gonna take mostly the roads. So I'm going to take mostly the roads here, and uh, yeah. So now, before we begin, just like the video, share the video, leave a comment. We got a yellow light here. I got to concentrate. Okay, so as I was saying, like the video, share the video, leave a comment, and also I have uh, memberships, join the membership, get early access, and uh, you might get some exclusive content if I get enough requests. Someone, or one particular person, has been asking me, how do I... I guess there's a lot of wind right here. I'm getting a lot of headwind. But how, how do I have my audio set up? What do I do? Because no matter, no matter how windy it is, or how, how fast I'm going, you don't hear the wind that often. I think that's a chick on the left riding her bicycle. An older, older lady. Anyways, so, so, I don't have my rear view mirror. I have to look over my left shoulder all the time. So how do I have my audio? Well, that's a good question. Through many years of research into audio and sound engineering, I think I've come up with a pretty good solution. And it doesn't require any expensive equipment. So, anyways, if I get enough requests through the memberships, if I get enough requests through the memberships, I'll, uh, I'll put it in there. All right. And so, this is a, uh, a chesty, oh, a tree fell down. Wow, a tree tipped over. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go back and look at it, but maybe on the way back I'll show you. A tree fell over. It's actually right leaning on the fence of a property. I don't think there's any damage, but uh, I think they're gonna have to, someone's gonna have to get working on that soon. Soil's really wet. Whoa, watch out, BMW! Okay, so. Whew. And also, this video, this video today is brought to you by the letter A. So let's thank the letter A for bringing this video to you today. All right. A little plug-in for the kids, educational, you know. Because without the letter A, without the letter A, you can't say asshole. All 
right, so now we got that out of the way. We gotta educate our kids, you know? So, I have not been riding my bike at all for like almost uh, two weeks. I think it's been two weeks, jeez. Whatever it is, it's been a long time. And because it's pretty much been raining almost every day. Almost every day. If it's not raining, it was very wet. And, uh, you know, when it's wet out there, the cameras, my camera's not waterproof, so I couldn't record. I do have a, uh, a case for it, but it's so huge, it's unpractical. And plus, you know, it's not very comfortable riding in the rain. I do have my emergency gear. Well, actually, no, I don't. I, don't. I have my spare tube, uh, you know, my tire inflator, but I don't have the poncho, so, because I don't really plan on riding in the rain. I've learned the hard way. Yes, I've learned the hard way, and I don't, I don't see any other YouTubers out there riding in the rain. Very few. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit more slippery. Not comfortable riding all wet. And, uh, and uh, it's a little bit dangerous. You, there's possibility of injury. But I do have videos of me riding in the rain, if you want to Go look it up and search it. Look, somebody else on their bicycle. Nice. So yeah, it's been very rainy. It's actually humid. Feels like it's in the 90s, but it's only in the 80s. So I am wearing my footsie freeze vest, uh, which is very nice. It'll last about an hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours. It all depends. another uh, person riding their bike out here today. Yes, it's been first day of real uh, sun in the afternoon. Like, it'll be uh, clear in the morning and then it'll rain in the afternoon, so. But he's got a mountain bike. I don't know if he's really gonna go off-roading because I know the soil's so wet, it's, it's not practical. You're gonna get mud kicked up on the tires. I, I know that, I've, I've tried, I've tried the, uh, the mud whomping on the uh, Rad Mini and the Rad Mini, or the Rad Mini and the Rad Rover. Not a good idea. All right. So I'm still riding the Rad Mini, mainly because, mainly because uh, I got, uh, I still gotta use it. So the kid fish that I was supposed to go with my wife and, and the, my youngest, taking the rewrite co pilot and doing the three thing, the threesome, not not that kind of threesome, but me riding the uh, red mini, pulling the rewrite co pilot, and my wife pulling the uh, the red mini step through, or she's riding the red mini step through, I should say, she's not pulling anything. Well, that was postponed. It's supposed to be this Saturday. So I had two events, family events. I was gonna ride the bike, the rewrite co pilot, and have my wife come with me on the red mini step through. That's been postponed. So we still have those events going on, so I'm still riding the red mini. So a lot of stuff going on. I, I did get the BMX stunt bike. That was done. Oh look at them swallows. Oh, uh, a lot of a lot of the mud nest has fallen off. Wow, there's a lot there's a lot fewer mud mud nest on the uh, 
on this overpass. I'm assuming because they uh, it was it was raining so much, it kind of like leached it leached under the bridge, or goes the water kind of just blows under. Blows under that uh, it it gets the uh, it gets the mud nest. Their nest is made of mud, pretty much clay. It it gets it wet and it just falls, falls into the levee, falls into a little creek. So that's what happened. So, anyways, uh, my red rover. My red rover is uh, repaired actually. I still I can ride my red rover. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little. I'm gonna go off the sidewalk. Let's see how wet it is. Oh, grass has grown a lot. It's probably been almost uh, two weeks since the maintenance crews have probably been out here. They probably won't come out here when it's raining. Doesn't make sense. And looks like some uh, some of the trees and. Uh, shrubs out there have uh, fallen so so my red rover still uh, it's been repaired I just have to uh, ride it but I still got a lot of stuff going on I still got a lot of stuff going on with uh, with the rad mini I got to use with the rewrite co-pilot so still riding the rad mini once that's over, I'll get back on the Rad Rover and we'll, we'll, we'll start riding that. Alright, Dad's pushing his kid. Do, do women really want dads, your men to stay home and watch the kids. I don't know. I think they, I think women say that, but they don't really want that. Because if the dad's home watching the kids, guess what the wife is doing? Guess what the woman's doing? Going out there and trying to earn a living. I think I'll take the uh, streets. Nobody's here. I'm headed to. I'm gonna try to be. I'm gonna try to head to the pool if they're open. I don't know if there's lifeguards or not, but it should be open. It is Memorial Weekend, but it's gonna rain, I think. So uh, I don't think we're gonna do much other than the kid fish. The kid fish is actually on the Memorial Saturday of the day of the Memorial Day weekend. So, uh, what I think I'm going to do, what I think I'm going to do is uh, go to the kid fish, and my, I don't know if my wife is going to make it, she already had plans, so I just may be me and my youngest, which I kind of wanted her to come to watch, to watch her to watch my youngest with me so I don't have all that responsibility but anyways it's good it's good to get out a lot of wind here Ugh. all right so the so I gotta I gotta take my youngest with me That's probably the only thing I'm going to do on the weekend, Memorial Day weekend. And then maybe we'll go out to eat somewhere on Memorial Day. Usually we would uh, go to the pool. I think the main pool is going to be open. I think all the pools are going to be open. And I'm not sure if they're going to have some kind of event.
but I heard the forecast shows that it's going to rain, or there's a really good chance of rain. So, oh, a lot of headwind here. So, what I'm gonna probably end up doing, we're just gonna go out to eat. And my treat, probably gonna be my treat, I have to pay for it. I'm gonna go across the crosswalk, it's just watch, watch. Maybe some of these uh, will go around and I'll most likely beat them all. I'll be able to beat them all, anyways. Maybe I won't. Oh, that van beat me. Oh, they did beat me. I had to slow down for that. Uh, anyways. Didn't beat anybody this time, darn it. Normally I would. Okay, had to look over my shoulder. Oh, a little windy today. Today is a slight chance of rain, 12%, so, but it's the first day where I get an afternoon of no rain forecasted, so I'm riding the bike. I'm riding the bike. You don't want to be sedentary too long. Plus, I got to run the batteries. You got to use up those batteries. You gotta use up those batteries. Don't let them go. Uh, don't let them go dead on you. Ride your bike. You bought an e-bike. You should ride it. Let me see. There's some people at. There's some cars parked at the pool area. Let me go check it out. I'll check it out. Pedal assist down a little bit. Gear down, pedal assist down. Looks like it is open. Uh, no, okay, there's no lifeguard. Uh, so I'm just gonna use my card. All right. Oh, I might, I might actually get in the water today. It's very warm. All right. Took my spot. Yeah. That's all right. I gotta actually have a spot right here that I like to go underneath all this. Also gonna check out the the lake here. See how much the water has gone up. I might I might kayak after this.